in France, for an example. This is from France 24. France 24. Shortage, shortage, and shortages in France are forcing people to wait in line for hours to get only a partial refill of fuel. Watch this. A seemingly unending tailback early on Saturday morning in Paris. Some motorists spent hours in their cars in the hope of filling their tank. I got up at 4 a.m. to go looking for petrol. After a long wait, there was relief, even if stocks were limited. 30 euros for everyone, no more. It's not petrol, but time I'm putting into the car. The hunt continued throughout the day. Shortages caused by strikes at refineries have hit one in five filling stations in France, Care in Arras, where entry is being screened. Only people with priority occupations are allowed in, something motorists are understanding about. But even this care worker who managed to get to the pumps is having difficulty. The station, which was resupplied on Friday, is already out of fuel. Wow. That's coming to... That's happening here. Not coming to America, but it's already happening here. Isn't that amazing? And, and interesting in that it doesn't have to be that way. We have buku oil in this country, but they want you in green cars. And you going in there, come hell or high water. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. You're too weak now. You're angry. They have set you up to lose control. You're angry. You're brainwashed. You're dumbed down. And now they do what they want. No matter what you think. Economy is bad. Okay. Voting coming up in a month. What we're going to do is send you the ballots. And you can do early voting. Cause it's so convenient for you. Oh, okay, let me do early voting. You ever heard any debates or anything, right? Only a few. Then they are finally agreeing to debate, and it's after your early voting. You send in your ballot, now you're thinking, and you watch the debate. Oh, my God, I don't want to vote for that person. Too late. You already did. Because they made it convenient for you, and you felt like it was for you, and you fell for it. What a mess! What a mess. And that's not even talking about the filthy cities now. Oh, just, that's the way it is. Bring in some more illegals and make it worse. Comfortable with filth all around you, inside of you and outside of you. Homeless people everywhere. I mean, it just, it's so typical now that your eyes almost just glaze over it to the point you don't see it as abnormal anymore. Isn't that amazing? And crime is becoming the norm. Okay, I won't walk to the store at 10 o'clock anymore at night because I know the crime, so I'm going to adjust my ways not force the government to do something about the crime, but I'm going to adjust my lifestyle and let the crime just go rampant. You cannot control a moral people. You have to demoralize them and to control them. And that has happened. And around the world, and the United States, especially the Western world. The rest of the world was already screwed up. But at least the Western world was amazing. And now over the years, they have one brick at a time, knocked down one value, one family, one this, and now they have you. And now they have you. 
And you're not going to be able to overcome fear until you overcome anger. So you can hang that up. You can try to convince yourself that you're overcoming, but you're not, not until you overcome the anger. Get rid of the anger, fear will disappear. Fear is one of the children of anger. Anger is hatred, a separation from God. And so fear is one of the children of it. Fear, depression, anxiety, all those little fake names they've given it, it's just really evil. But worry, loneliness, doubt, insecurity, suicidal thoughts, reaching outside for the answers, all children of anger. Those are the devil's children, but you think they're your own. What the? A mess, huh? And the media silence on all this stuff that's happening is mind-blowing. People even question now, what is a woman? You already know what a woman is. And you know what a man is. But they got you questioning that now. Twitter has a, this is from Twitter, a video of France, France protests in the streets shouting, Tongs! De la ton. <laughs> so tall, de la ton. The anchor baby going to come in and explain what that is. But there's a big, major protest in uh, France. And they're shouting, so tall, de la ton. What is that, Nick? The anchor baby is here. The host of Nick Stream on Fridays at 4 p.m. Morning. On YouTube. Morning. What's Sartons de l'Otan? Sartons de l'Otan. They're saying, take us out of NATO. And it's maybe unclear, so that's why I'll explain, because there's no real news report on this. Yeah. But the person who vote, who uh, posted this writes out Sartons de l'Otan. And, they, and you could hear it. We could hear it so that you can see that I'm being, that I'm right on what I'm saying. Uh, and here, watch this. So this is the protest. Sortons vite de l'OTAN. Sortons vite de l'OTAN. Sortons vite de l'OTAN. And so you can Google Translate that. Sortons, S-O-R-T-O-N-S, de l'OTAN, the uh, L apostrophe O-T-E-A-N, which is the French term for NATO. They're saying, take us out of NATO. Take us out quickly, out of NATO. Sortons vite, quickly. Vite means quickly, out of NATO. They try to... L'OTAN. They're tr- NATO, what is NATO? NATO? NATO is the National Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's the club. It's the club that U.S. and a bunch of Western countries are in. You attack one, you attack them all. Isn't that the same... Th- isn't that little guy out of Ukraine, they're trying to get him to join them? Yes, exactly. Oh. He's trying to. He's been trying to join that... That club as well. So he want to join that. Correct. And so oh. that's kind of like the controversy. But anyways, this is these are like you saw them. That was quite a bit of them. There's a whole bunch of folks that's, out there. It looks like it was all the way down the street. It's quite significant. I think newsworthy. Sortons de l'Otan. Sortons vite de l'Otan. <laughs> Quickly. The, get us out of NATO. Mm. And they, that little guy want to get in NATO, right? Right. So uh, maybe, from Ukraine. Right. So I mean. It's not even like a pro-Russia thing. It's like peace. And I think these people have an interesting, they have a voice too, and they have an interesting position. I mean, Are you for NATO or against it? I don't know what what I'm for. I just like cooler heads. I just want peace right. and cooler heads to prevail. Yeah. I'm not an expert on this, but, but um, you know, I'd rather um, someone uh, like a man in charge. You know what I'm saying? Like a Christian man. Like uh, we need Trump more than ever, maybe. If ever. <laughs> we need a Donald Trump. We need him now. Yeah, like stop a war, please. <laughs> like, this should be election tomorrow. Uh, so there's escalating fear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In parts due to the recent escalation of the bridge attack in Crimea, Crimea and the uh, missile in Kiev. Kiev. Kiev, yeah. 
Oh, let's so see, yeah, yeah, there's some B-roll on this, and you might have seen this in the news. The oh, bridge yeah. attack. I'm sure it's yeah. been all over. So it's just some recent stuff. I'm sure it's got the people a little bit more fearful. But so the bridge blew up while somebody was driving across it. Yeah, yeah. What? The? And this is Kiev after the <laughs> missile attacks here, and and you'll see. You probably saw this one too. This lady. No, I didn't see that. Oh yeah, she was like doing this selfie video in the middle of Kiev when the missile attack started. She's what like, an ego trip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Anything to get on Twitter. That's funny. It's like, uh, I bet you if a guy was filming the missile attack, it'd be like, yo, the missiles. <laughs> but it's like the missile attack. When a girl's filming, it's a selfie. <laughs> She's trying to get her some attention. <laughs> Let me see it again. At the risk of putting her own life at, at risk. <laughs> Anything to glorify the ego. Amazing. So this is a B-roll post. Let me know. No sound to it. So they just brew up the bridge while some people going to lunch, going to work, wherever they're going, going home to see mama. And look at this gal. If she was blown up, it would have been nobody's fault but hers. Trying to get on Twitter. Oh, uh, I don't know if she was. I don't know who she was. So. Oh. But I, uh, oh. I don't know if she went out to go like, oh, my God, look at. Oh, she might have just phone? been walking around. Twitter moment. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I don't know either, folks. It just looked crazy. Yeah, it does. I don't know what she was standing up there for. What a mess. Mm -hmm. But yeah.